Hello, everyone. Tech Good Reads give you good thing to read to listen. Today, I will talk about AWS Account Security Best Practice. This is a summary based on my recent work. Here we have a checklist, and all these rules can help you to improve the AWS Account Security. Let's go to details one by one. The first rule: remove all IAM users that shouldn't have console access permission. IAM users can be used in two ways. One way is that you can have some developers to use that IAM user to access the AWS console. The other usage is that it can be used by some AWS service to access the resources. If the IAM user is used for the AWS service access, they shouldn't have been used for the console access. So in this suggestion, removing old IAM users that shouldn't have console access. There are two ways to check that if a user has a console access. One way is to use that IAM console. And you can click each user and go to that security credential tab and check if console password is disabled. The second method is that you can on the IAM console uh, go to the credential report and download the report to check if the password enabled columns are false value. The second suggestion is that remove IAM users that are not used and the key which have not been rotated over six months. How can we check if IAM user is used or not? How can we check if the access key is rotated or not? You can go to the IAM console and you can see there's some fields about the last access date for the user and also access key age. Using this information, you can know if the key is rotated and if the user is accessed recently. This information can help you make a decision that if the user should be removed. Next suggestion is that grant list permissions to IAM user which can execute cloud formation. Cloud formation is a very helpful tool that you can write a cloud formation scripts to define all the resources. You can use this script run in the cloud formation to create all the real infrastructures. Using cloud formation is uh, very useful because you can run the same cloud formation in the demo environment and then in the future do it in the cloud. So this process is uh, repeatable. It's uh, very helpful. But uh, when you want to use that uh, IAM user to grant uh, cloud formation permissions, you should grant a list of permissions. Here I provide an example as a red right side of picture, we can see that for the IAM user, we only grant cloud formation and as three permissions. The next suggestion is combined with the last suggestion. We can use called wire condition key to restrict resources that can only be created through cloud formation. When we use cloud formation to create resources like DynamoDB, KMS, we need to grant all the permissions to access those resources. Otherwise, those resources cannot be created by the cloud formation. But if IAM user have all that permissions, it, this is uh, very dangerous because that user have all the permissions to do everything in their account. If this IAM user is hacked, 
is a pride very dangerous for your infrastructure. So a best way to restrict the permissions is that you use cold wire. And in this way, we can restrict those resources can only be created by the cloud formation. Using this suggestion, combined with the last best practice, is ensure that IAM user have enough permission to run the cloud formation, and it cannot do other operations. The last best practice is that use IAM role instead of IAM user to control AWS resources access. When we use IAM role, we can see the left picture and user want to access the resource, it first use the STS assume role to consume uh, IAM role and it get a temporary security credentials. And then the user use that credential to access the resources. So it means there are two benefits using the IAM role. First is use the temporary security credentials. On the contrary, IAM user use the long-term security credentials. The second benefit of IAM role is that it's easy to be maintained by the cloud formation. In summary, in today's program, I introduced several ways to improve the security of your IAM accounts. Thank you for listening. This is Jenny. See you next time.